Lots of us in Maine leave for part of the time. We leave for all winter. We're not in our houses, and it's really, really important for us to know how to take care of our property while we're not there. Today we're with Tim Spang of Hazelwood Handyman Services. Tim is going to tell us important information about things we need to know to take care of our homes while we're not there. Welcome, Tim. Nice Hi, to Randall. see you. Good to Good. see you. Tell us a little bit about the services that you offer. Well, there's uh, two services I want to talk about today, and one of them is, uh, you know, shutting your home down for the winter, putting it to bed, having it so that everything's shut off. And another one is leaving it running and then have, have somebody check it once in a while, and we call it the Hazelwood House Check. But to drain a house, you know, a lot of, a lot of people, you know, they'll call us and ask us, hey, how do we, how do we put a house to bed? And it's, it's everything from putting your furniture in, uh, having you, uh, having the furnace shut down, having your plumbing system shut down, and then going through your house to make sure that everything's ready for it to sit dormant, whether it's four months or six months. Or even, you know, you know some people shut it down for a month uh, in the worst part of the winter. And, you know, it takes a little bit to put together the subcontractors and then send a report to the people knowing that their house is well taken care of. Yeah, that's that peace of mind while I'm away. It is. Good. How about for folks, Tim, who are just gone for a couple of weeks in the winter but need some help? What we do is, uh, it's called the Hazewood House Check, and we, we set up a system. We meet with you, and there's different levels. Some people just have us walk through the house real quickly to see if there's any leaks and just make, the make sure the furnace is running. And then other people, we walk through, you know, if, if they're gone for, the, you know, vacations, we do it once. People gone for the winter, we do it once a week or once, you know, once a month. And it depends on the level of security that the people want. And we do everything from, we, we make sure the furnace is running, we make sure the oil is full uh, for the propane tank, we make sure that you have access for somebody, if the emergency vehicle, or just a path to the house so that you have access through snow. And, you know, we like to suggest to the people that you unplug all your electronic devices. If you're going to be gone for four to six months, there's no need to have a lightning strike on your house and lose, lose things that, that you could during a lightning storm. Mm -hmm. And uh, I don't know, it's a, it's a real peace of mind because everything that we do, we document. We, and a lot of times we take pictures if there's any issues so that we can talk to you right, right by email. You see the photos, you see a full report of your house. And you, you have a great feeling that somebody's, you know, taking care of you. To most people, it's your most valued possession. Oh, absolutely. Good. How about, Tim, for someone who uh, is, wants to do this for themselves, is going to be gone for a couple weeks in the winter, any ideas or suggestions you could make? Yeah, one of the biggest areas uh, is, is if a lot of people have uh, self-contained generators and they're propane and, and they're there so if the electricity goes out, it keeps the house, it keeps the house running. And a lot of people don't realize that, you know, a generator just can't run for, you know, a whole weekend. The generator has to be checked at least every eight or, eight or ten hours for its oil. Otherwise, there's a real good chance that it could burn, out of, burn all its oil out. And, uh, and then the generator goes down, your house goes down, mm -hmm. and you can have lots of problems. Absolutely. That's important information. Anything else that I should know if I'm getting ready to be gone for a while? Um, you know, either have a friend or a professional watch your house. Yep. I think it's real important. Yeah, so just not ignore it, having somebody check it out for you. Yep. Okay. Well, that's really good information, Tim. Thank you very much. Thanks, Randall. Thank you. Good. So Tim has given us lots of good information. Most of us leave for whether it's a weekend, a week, a couple weeks, a couple months during the winter time to get out of town. And Tim has told us Hazelwood Handyman Services, they're the ones.